have you ever heard of female cleaning jobs in Qatar? By the way, what are some of these jobs? In this video, let us try to see what are some of the female cleaning jobs in Qatar. Tune in to this video. Most of the time, most of the people think or most of people have a misconception that when you come as a female cleaner in Qatar or in these Gulf countries, you're definitely going to clean toilets. It is not the case. When we are talking about cleaning, when we are talking about cleaning jobs, it's a very broad subject that we need to, to definitely, we cannot exhaust in one way or the other. Because when we look at cleaning, cleaning jobs, it's diversely divided in two different categories. It may be divided broadly in different categories, which may not exhaust in one way or the other. Because this will partially come as in our hospitality, it may come in any form or any way in the way. But remember, when we are talking about what we call female cleaners in Qatar or few jobs for female cleaners, there are very many jobs that you can do as a female cleaner in Qatar. So in case you are in that country and there's an opportunity, uh, for example, there's an equipment that is advertising for, for uh, uh, cleaner jobs or female cleaner jobs in your country and you definitely have that opportunity, get it right get the opportunity come into the country start from where you can start after finishing you can definitely upgrade yourself to another level remember i keep on telling people for some of these gulf countries unlike dubai or when it comes to visa visa or when it comes to opportunities most of those opportunities will come with what we call employment visas that most of these you do not you cannot access what you call a visa visa because it gets a little bit very hard and very expensive for you and the only opportunity these people always put forward is advertising jobs or uh, having what you call job placements through what you call different recruitment agencies that's why sometimes i keep on telling people that what you can do definitely if there's a recruitment company recruitment company in your country go ask those company go ask that company what companies are they dealing with if they definitely tell you we have a job for a security guard in this company of this company then come and research about the company see what happens with that country company then definitely you can definitely move it in one way or the other in that case so you definitely find yourself you can definitely move and do whatever uh, you, you definitely want in that area and remember when we are talking about cleaning when you're talking about opportunities definitely those opportunities are so much easier when you are in the country that you should live in or that you competing for the opportunities when you are out of the country in these gulf countries once you come into these gulf countries there's a lot of opportunities for your own space, for opportunities for your own play that you can choose from and there's a lot of other alternative things that you can go to in case you amicably finish your contract with your employer and you don't have any grudges in one way or the other that you leave to move, you can move on and jump on and do something else at one way or the other. So when you look at what you call female cleaner jobs in there are very many. Female cleaner jobs are very many. You can house and you can work as a housekeeper, you can work in a hospitality department, you can work at the airports, you can work in residential areas, you can work as a nanny, you can work as a maid. All these are opportunities that are placed for what you call female cleaner jobs. Hope right. So coming as a cleaner, as a female cleaner, it is not necessarily going to mean that you are going to be cleaning the toilets. No! There's a lot of being very big opportunities that you can work. You can work in a residential area as a cleaner. You can work in a hotel as a female cleaner. You can work in a, in a, in a, in a hospital as a female cleaner. You can work in a recreation center as a female cleaner. You can work in a residential area or hotel as a female cleaner. All those are opportunities. Those are opportunities. You can work in a restaurant as a female cleaner. You can even work in government entities, even in banks as a female cleaner. So, meaning that a lot is, when we try to talk about cleaning, is a lot on table, is a, is a lot of opportunities as female that you can definitely do than what people talk about or what people disguise or what people may think that you're only going to do on this side or you're only going passionately to be specializing on this. This makes very many people scared coming in some of these Gulf countries and they end up missing up the opportunities. My sister, if you're out there and this opportunity comes, don't let it go. Take up the opportunity you'll come. 
take up this opportunity because there are different fields the different different fields that we are talking about that you're going to work in the different areas you're going to work you can work as a maid you can work as a nanny you can work as a you can work as a a cleaner in the hotel an airport katai always we have female cleaners there we have hospitals we have female cleaners in banks we have female cleaners hotels we have female cleaners all these are opportunities we have restaurants we have residential areas so you find yourself that you'll be deployed in any of those areas and you can still do your job or you can still do your work amicably and you can do it rightly because you are being placed in that area in one way which would also give you give you a wider a wider experience for you to think faster people are working in the hospitality sector in the hotel people are working as housekeepers Uh, uh room attendants you know definitely you find yourself in being uh, uh caught up that you have a lot of uh, opportunities that you can do or a lot of uh, things that you, you can get out of, of that side in one or the other but remember something i did question on people that get very very close with the contracts that you sign and make sure that what you sign on the contract is what you come in to do Uh, what you sign in that contract as you live in your country is what you come to do here uh, let not your employer come here and try to uh, to try to, to to try to intimidate you or try to give you something that else you do not ask for at the end of it all yes you may look at something easy for the time being that you say i came as a cleaner now i'm a, for example if you wake up and like i i came as a cleaner Now my visa was a cleaner but I'm reaching here I'm working as a, what you call a, a, a personal what you call a personal maid then definitely there's are two different things because remember it's called your ID or what you call your, your visa or residence permit will be uh, specifying cleaner in one way or the other so definitely uh, uh, doing something that you do not apply for or doing something that you do not have as part of your visa or when you're coming is against the law and it's your right to either agree or not so if in case if your employer is wanting uh, the employer wants to change you and puts you to something else that is not uh, connect or connecting to what you applied for or what is in your contract then definitely you have a right to accept or you have a right not to accept in one way or the other not not in a very rude way but you have to accept you have a right to reject it politely in a very what you call a very polite uh, tone Uh, to let this person know uh, you are that you are aware of your responsibility in one way or the other so when you come in the corner uh, as a cleaner there are a lot of opportunities that you can explore and there are a lot of jobs that you definitely can do in one way or the other to see that you can move on and earn what you call a living in one way or the other uh, thank you so much uh, for coming to this channel remember uh, it's makes from the next question by the way if it's your first time come across this channel consider subscribing by the way don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will always be the only way that you always are be updated whenever i upload a new video remember it's makes from the next creation see you again in the next video as we are trying to see more of these updates and more of this information that we need to gain to share together thank you so much see you